So here I have a purple background and I want to add some watermarks. And to add the watermarks, first we need to create a text or import a logo, depending on which type of watermark you want. For me, I'm using a logo. So if your logo is simply an image file that you can't edit, I suggest going to File and use the Place feature to simply place in the image file. If you have made your own logo in Illustrator, I suggest you go to Open, find your logo and click Open. From here, simply select the logo, click Ctrl C, then go to the canvas you want to place it into, click the canvas and click Ctrl V to paste. By importing it this way, we are still able to edit the logo. So now we want to use the logo to create our watermarks. So from here you can choose if you want to scale your logo up or down, or you want to rotate it. In this case, I want to rotate my logo. So select the logo, double click the rotate tool, and rotate it whatever angle you like. I will select 30 degrees. Click OK. So now we want to repeat this logo seamlessly. And we do this by having the logo selected. Go to Object, go to Pattern, and go to Make. And as you can see here, we run into some issues because we have a white text in our logo. And because the default color of the canvas in Adobe Illustrator is also white, we need to make a little change before creating our pattern. So let's cancel this Make Pattern. Choose the Selection tool, select the white text we want to change, and select another color than white. It can just be a light gray. Click OK. Now select the entire logo once again. And keep in mind, this is only if you have a lot of white in your logo. Now go to Object, go to Pattern, and go to Make. And now we can clearly see what we are doing. So in this pop-up right here, we can choose how much distance we want between our logos, both vertically and horizontally. So let's start with the height and type in something greater than 106. I will use 140 pixels. Then for the width, I will choose 180. And this looks nice, I think. When you're happy with the distance, we can go to tile type and choose brick by row if we want the logos to be placed in a brick-like pattern. When you're happy, simply click done. Now we can delete our logo. Select the rectangle tool, create a rectangle over our canvas and select our pattern. But now the text on the logo is still gray and we want the text to be white as the original logo. To edit the logo once again, simply double click the pattern, pick the selection tool, select the text you want to change the color and here we can simply change it back to the original white. Then click done. We can even add watermarks like this to images. Simply place in an image instead of a color. And to make the watermarks less visible, pick the layer with the watermarks, go to the opacity, and pick something like 